Hello there everybody and welcome back to Layers of Fear where we're going to be starting with the Inheritance DLC today. Now I don't know too much about it other than the fact that you play the daughter of our uh, two sort of adult characters from the main game sort of returning to the house after some years. So I don't know how things are going to be different, how they're going to be the same. We'll find out once the loading is finished. Really, really interested about how they're going to change this up. Oh, here we go. What's going to happen? Oh, ah, I hear footsteps. That's a good start. <laughs> I thought it when might. When I was frozen. a child, I used to lay in bed late at night, staring at the ceiling, listening to my father scream, scream at my mother, scream at yet another failed masterpiece. Finally, just scream out into the darkness. It became my lullaby. Ugh, and even sad. when they took me away, the screams followed. I was once told that insanity runs in my family. It's time to make it stop. Fair enough. Sickness, insanity, and death were the angels that surrounded my cradle. And they have followed me throughout my life. Edvard Munch. Ooh. Oh, flashlight. Ooh. Oh, very horrory. Very horrory. I was never 100% sure exactly what time frame this was saying. Like, it, it seemed kind of like late Victorian style, perhaps, but... Well, this place has certainly um, let itself go, hasn't it? But it's not too unfamiliar. So there was the kitchen over here. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it reeks in here. Ooh, more commentary. I can get behind that. Way. I swear that dog doesn't shut up. Okay. Why? Quit looking at me like that. I can't move. The dog is there for a reason. Oh, oh. You can let him out for now. Ugh. Drop the dog in the... That's horrible. Oh, that's just horrible. Yeah, well. Wait, what? What did he... He put the dog on the fire? That's just evil. No, 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 no. You don't do shit like that. Oh my god, that's horrible. Oh, hello. Look at that. It's a broken bottle this time. Makes sense, I guess. Was it like this? Was this how it looked at the end of the game? I can't even remember. It's last week. I've already forgotten. And the bathroom. Anything weird or mystical going to happen in here? Still life. <laughs> okay. Hawaii. Why wait for paradise slash hell? You deserve it now. Yeah. Lovely. Yes, well, we already know that these people were pretty fucked. Well, all, well, I say pretty fucked. They were majorly fucked. <coughs> this place is a mess. Well, it clearly looks like no one's lived here in a while, love. I think that's fair enough. I can hear you in there. I'm coming, you furry little bastards. You're not getting away this time. Of course, you have that rat problem. What the hell are you doing in there? Get out! Mm, yeah, he was a bad father. Like a really bad father. You got another picture on the floor. Oh. Got like eyes there. I wonder what's that up with that. That's quite interesting. I don't know if this is going to follow the same sort of thing as... I'll leave that one for last, I think. And the basement. Does the electricity still work? No, where's the light switch? What? There was a light switch. Oh, forget it. Forget it. Forget it, I say. Really? That made you jump? You pansy. Just a uh, candle holder thing falling on the floor. Ugh. Ah. 
Oh, it moves. Oh, wait, hey, I can move. What is that? <laughs> yes, that's it. Okay. Wait, are these supposed to be like interactive? Am I supposed to be like doing stuff for this? Hmm. Mother in the wheelchair, presumably, and. Her trying to play the piano? I don't know, it's weird. Hello, what's that? Uh, dear Mr. and Mrs. Kirkstein, I once again implore you to give me back my daughter. Give her back, give her back, give her back, give her back, give her back. With best regards. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's going to help your cause very much. Weird. I don't know specifically how long this DLC even is. I mean, if it's just me wandering around the house, this is going to be a very short video. I really haven't got the faintest idea. I was hoping to get to at least uh, a number. wrong with this thing? Is your flashlight dying? Rat lies, 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 lies. What? Here we go again. That dog better not be where I think it is. No. Oh, hey, hey there, princess. Do you you want to sit on daddy's lap? Come on. Ha! Huh. See, I couldn't move in that first one, so I kind of figured. That you couldn't move at all. But I don't know, maybe maybe I can change things. This is gonna be a short DLC, isn't it? I was hoping for several episodes. <laughs> oh dear. Could be problematic. What's that? Come on, get the get oh, for crying out loud. Girl hiding in the closet, mother in the bed, father all angry. Yep, sounds about right. Based on, oh, um... I don't remember that being there. Ooh. I can hear you out there. Please, please help me. It hurts. Oh, it hurts so much. I can't take it anymore. Put the music on. Mm. Yes. Thank you. Okay. It's so good to feel that there's still beauty in this world see i'm wondering like am i changing things by making quick decisions or am i just doing what i'm supposed to be doing and that, that was kind of the interesting thing about sort of playing the main game is that you weren't sure whether you were following what you were supposed to be following or whether you were just doing or whether you were actually making a choice and that was the interesting thing i did find out actually in the main game there were choices that you could make like um the uh that still locks you still can't go in there that's irritating but um th there were choices that you could make and um sort of the short version was that you know your choices that you made during the main game ultimately uh dictated what ending you got and there were like three different endings i think uh, mother or father what if I don't want to make the choice? I don't want to make the choice. Choices are bad. They make me feel like I'm not making... It's it's not that you are making one choice. It's that you're not making another choice. You know? Now, there's got to be a way around this. There's always a way around this. Probably not, actually. Um, so you get to choose either the father's side or the mother's side. Um, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. We'll go this way, because why the hell not? Wee. Whoop. Uh, it's falling from the ceiling. I love the perspective. i got to say, that is really, really good. 
It really does hey make me feel like you're small. Oh, come on. Don't be afraid. It won't bite. Here. Try for yourself. No, no. That, that's not quite right. Um... Hmm. <sighs> Still not quite there. Uh, yeah, but, uh, um. Whoever's pounding on that piano, what it? Lovely. Whoa, <laughs> they look like they're falling in. That is really cool. Sense of perspective on this is great. I'm liking this, but I get the feeling I'm not going to get much out of it. It feels very short. Ooh, chest. What's in the chest? Nothing. Got to explore. Got to look for all the secrets. So is that it? Can we leave now? Nope, that door's locked. Okay, what the hell are we supposed to be doing? Oh, we just got... Oh. Did I not make myself clear? Apparently not. You know what? I have an idea. Go get your crayons. Okay. Where are my crayons? Where are my crayons at? Where are you? Nope, so they're still somewhere in the room. Where are they? Where are my crayons? Are they... Ah, uh, they're probably in the chest. I don't know, I can't see anything, it's so dark. Turn the brightness up as well. Um... I can't find my crayons already. If you can't do it right, then don't do it at all. Nope, no crayons in there either. I can't find my crayons. There are no crayons. The crayons are a lie, I'm telling you. They're a lie. Oh, I can't even play that anymore. Oh, hello. Where'd you come from? Oh, good. We can go now. Can I go get my crayons? Love the perspective on this. <laughs> well done. That was almost startling. Almost. Ugh. Yep, yeah, everything smashed to pieces. What the hell? Okay, that's the thing. This is neat. I'm enjoying this. Save. Can I open the save? Of course I can't open the save. I'm a little kid. I'm a, what, five-year-old girl, is it? Maybe even younger? Who knows? I'm glad it's going on a little longer than I thought. I, th I honestly started to think that maybe we were just wandering around the house, we'd have short little bits, and that'd be it. But this seems to have um, gone back to the thing I was more closer to expecting, I think. Definitely closer to what I was expecting. The perspective is fantastic. I, I know I keep saying that, I'm repeating myself, but it really does give you the sense of being very small and very young. And I like that. I appreciate that. Is there anything else in here. Are we supposed to be making a choice again? Oh, hang on. Huh. Look at that. It's like the mother's side has taken over and the father's side has shrunk. So, with the reasonable prospect of trying to keep things equal and balanced... Oh, God, not the dull stuff again. Look, we already discussed last time. This didn't work on me. Whoa. X marks the spot, I guess. Still moving on. What is that? Oh, is that like a palm tree? Looks like something out of sight. Oh, for God's sake. Go away. Okay, that's the thing. Huh! 
This is weird. Oh, for goodness sake. I can't do this without you. Aye. Whoa. That worked. Fire on the walls. Fire over there. Fair enough. Oh dear. That could be bad. If it weren't for the fact it was drawn on. Oh, hey, look, a rocking horse. I tell you what, this is taking you all over the place, isn't it? Whoop. Okay. Can we go now? Ow! Oh. Hey, princess. I didn't know you were out here. No, no, it's all right. Daddy just tripped. You know, clumsy old typewriter. Oh, there, there. You don't need to worry. Daddy's just tired. So very tired. See, see, this is this is what I sort of said in the in the sort of main game. They're not bad people. They just had bad things happen to them. And that's just, it's not good. Ah, oh, no, it's peeling off. Okay, I guess not. I don't have my flashlight anymore. I think we got into the main game here. I didn't know where I was supposed to be going in the house, so I don't know how this is gonna work specifically. I gotta say, I'm I'm very sort of curious about this, because I like I, you know, when wandering the house, suddenly walking into one area, suddenly just sort of pelted me into this, and like I didn't know what was going on, I didn't wasn't sure what was happening, which is always good fun in a horror game, of course. Ooh. Well, that's part of one at least. Um, so are we supposed to be... Ah, are we hunting for picture pieces? Is that what we're doing? Nope, none in there. Are there any scattered on here? Nope, I saw some stairs going up here. So let's go up the stairs. I will say, I'm glad I'm actually going to get more content out of this than just one episode. I was hoping for something. This is what I was hoping for. And during that sort of beginning bit where I was just wandering around the house, I was genuinely worried it was just going to be that. That was weird. Fire, always good. Shh. Child's laughter really doesn't scare me. I know some people find that sort of stuff really creepy, but I really don't. Hello, it. Good job I missed. Or it missed. I'll get it right in a minute. Anyway, let's keep going. Ah, let's keep going up. Why not? It probably wouldn't matter whether I went up or down. It would probably always give me the same room. Probably. Again, feel like I'm making a choice and not, uh, you know, or, or not making another choice. That's the issue with this stuff. Fire is bad. Oh, what's this? And down it goes. Clump. Did that deflate? Must have happened when I wasn't paying attention. This is the thing with um, sort of slight contextual games. Isn't that supposed to be another piece of paper? Ah, there it is. I was so not paying attention. So we continue going up, or are we supposed to turn around and go back? I don't know. But I tell you what, oh, there appears to be a door up there, and we're actually out of time for this episode. So this got, like, 
interesting. It started off completely different from what I was expecting because I was genuinely thinking it was going to be just like the original Layers of Fear, only you played as the girl rather than as the guy. And when it was just like wandering around the house and seeing these things, I thought, oh, is, is that all it's going to be? Am I just going to wander around the house, see these things, and then that's it? But we seem to have gotten back into the whole Layers of Fear uh, style gameplay here, which I'm totally not complaining about. It was what made the first game extra fun. So, uh, thank you all for watching. Um, please remember to uh, like, comment, subscribe, all the usual good stuff, and I'll see you in part two of the Inheritance DLC. Bye!